The situation is alarming, but it can get better if the federations start fighting for the viewer. There has been too much sanctioned news in our sport lately. Periodically, individual positive news flashes light up, either Wimbledon will be punished because of us, then judoists will be allowed, or the head of the IOC, Thomas Bach, will even say something encouraging. Either he meant something, or the buffet at the event was abundant and the Germans' mood improved, that's what he said. But of course we believe in the best. But it is still far from a radical change. For the most part, international federations do not seek to see us in the new season, that is, most likely, it is possible to prepare for a return no earlier than 2023. Large alternative competitions with the participation of Russian and foreign athletes, with rare exceptions, have not yet been held. The short answer is that the situation is not important. According to all opinion polls, the sports industry has never been wildly popular in Russia, 10-15% of the population are interested in sports here, as opposed to 40-50% in some European countries or the USA. Olga Buzova or Danila Kozlovsky are much better known to the public in Russia than Artem Zayuba, although the secular sphere and cinema have also suffered since February. The emptying halls and the withered popcorn will speak for themselves. Therefore, it is not surprising that Russian sports, having lost a window to Europe, began to lose some of the audience. Although, surprisingly, there were a lot of interesting things on the Russian arena this spring, the final series of seven matches was played in basketball, and the long-term hegemon was removed, in volleyball they gave out a super fight in both super leagues, even the Russian biathlon championship gathered a full stadium, Trusova, and Yagodin went to athletics and so on. But, perhaps, the only sporting event that has been successfully sold to the masses on TV for all these four months is the final of the Betsity Cup of Russia Spartak Dynamo. How dramatic is the fall? This is expressed in numbers. Let's start with a few interesting facts. Fact 1. Since the closing of the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing, only four sporting events, two football and two figure skating, have been included in the top 100 broadcasts for each week. Football with a high probability you can guess, and they fit in two days. The figure was broadcast by the first channel, which has much greater coverage opportunities than colleagues from specialized media. So, in four months we got into the Russian top, Liverpool, Real Madrid Champions League final, which lasted longer than usual due to the riots in Paris, rating 2.0%, 46th place for the week. The same final of the Betsity Cup of Russia with Maxim and Lucy Chebatina, 1.5%, 72nd place. In addition to these two days, on May 28-29, only the weekend of March 25-27, in which the Channel 1 figure skating cup was held, stood out. The maximum rating was expected to be shown by the women's free program 29th place in the top and 2.7%. Also, Terry Tutbirds's show in Moscow, shown in the evening primetime on the first Sunday of April 24, broke into the leaderboards, 53rd place in the week, 1.9%. But the figures are controversial, given the ideal time of the show, and the fact that the Ice Age, for example, had indicators of about 3%, and the difference in the case of populated Russia, goes to millions of households. Cosmetically, the situation is changing in Moscow, where already in mid-March, after an understandable pause, it was possible to see Premier League football matches with ratings of 1-1.5% in 80-90 places, mainly with the participation of Moscow teams, mainly Spartak. In part, the weak performance of the sport was facilitated by the end of the Russian football championship, the highest-rated teams, Spartak, Zenit and CSKA did not fight for anything by the end of the championship. The exclusion of our clubs from European competitions meant that there was no big difference between second and fourth place, the street. Petersburg team won the championship long before the end of the championship, the red and white could only give a show by fighting for the FNL, but they did not do it. The KHL did not collect large numbers, the domestic biathlon, probably, could have scored, only if Dmitry Gubernev undressed Liv. Figure skating remained, in which we were removed from the World Championship, but a worthy alternative was invented, the Channel 1 Cup. This is a positive experience.
But the main losses are, of course, the deprivation of Russia of the Biathlon and Skiing World Cup, which a year ago brought ratings in the region of 2.0%. Fact 2. Serious problems with showing sports indicate that in the last week of measurements, May 30, June 6, the second broadcast by rating became replay of the 2005 UEFA Cup final CSKA Sporting. Only the Italy-Argentina finalissima match and news releases were able to overtake him. Messi collected 0.5%, the victorious Gaziv 0.4%. So they met, ice and flame, worthy rivals. There are clearly problems with finding incendiary broadcasts. A year ago, we had the World Hockey Championship and the Russian football team with us. The Riga-Russia-Canada quarterfinal gathered five. 5% of Russian viewers and became the second broadcast of the whole week, second only to the news of the regions on Russia 1. Stanislav Cherchesov's national team, meanwhile, rolled freight trains with Bulgaria and Poland, and even such matches scored 2.1% on the first and 1.1% on REN TV. But then our team was preparing for the home Euro, and the excitement around the Cherchesov team was understandable. Fact 3. Match TV hits anti-records. Usually, the only publicly available sports TV channel kept the bar of the average daily rating at 0.3% and a share of 2%. This has been going on for many years, no regression and no progress has been observed. When were the Olympics or World Championships of course, these figures could double and then fall again. And since the week of May 16, 22, the channel has reached an absolute anti-record, an average daily rating of 0.1%, with a share of 1%. The drop in absolute numbers seems to be small, only this drop is three times. A particular pain is caused by the fact that, following the sports button, the channel culture, or, officially, Russia K, also drops in the ratings. In the last week of measurements, the first in June, match took 19th place, and there is no certainty that you, in principle, know the channels that were behind. Among them are Saturday, you, Cartoon and the newly created Solovyovlev, which has a rating of 0.11% with a share of 0.3%. To summarize, it turns out that the Russian audience has not yet been able to switch to Russian sports. And the times when it was possible to appeal, let's pay attention to the problem, confer and pile on, have already passed. And now, when, for example, the football authorities mark up revenue schemes from the new RPL Cup, you envy their optimism. However, optimism is better than shouting that everything is gone. If our federations come to their senses and abruptly start making shows, and there are such attempts, which is gratifying, it will be very difficult without budget support. Football, figure skating and fighting have the best chances to survive without state support as statistics and common sense show. By the way, the UFC continues to be watched regularly, no matter what.